BBC Sport is unveiling a new VR studio for its coverage of the Winter Olympics that will take viewers from a mountainside log cabin to a virtual ski resort. The technology which drives the facility is a Viz4 and Unreal Engine integration using the Viz Fusion gear along with the Moses camera tracking system. Uh, Philip, how does this work and why is this important for the industry? So it's interesting to see more and more, especially live uh, productions using these virtual technologies, which I think is beneficial. One is it makes it interesting for the end customer. Uh, the systems are getting easier to use. The Moses system is designed to try and figure out where the camera is in a 3D space so that the computer system, the Viz and the Unreal Engine can keep it in alignment as the camera moves. Where in the past, we really sort of had static virtual environments you know you, the, the the commentator stood there and there was a set around them virtual set now with the unreal engine and the moses systems and viz you're actually able to make something that looks a little more realistic um and i think it becomes more entertaining for the end customer you know the viewer um it's not the first time they've that we've seen sort of these virtual type things done i think they had virtual guests in the summer olympics but this is i think the first time you've actually seen it as more of a set piece integrating the unreal engine which i think is interesting and it's going to be uh uh hopefully we don't see it overused we have see it used judiciously in these things so so Philip, we were talking a little bit earlier about the overuse of drones when they mm -hmm. first came out. If you had to predict, where do you think the use of this virtual reality will be in a year from now? I think it'll get overused at, you know, as the technology becomes more accessible to the general filmmaker television studio, it will wind up being overused, but just like drones. We, you know, when drones came out, every movie, every TV show had a thousand shots from a drone. I think you'll sort of see this as well. And then it'll eventually will settle out and figure it's, it's, a, you know, space in the storytelling environment. I think it's gonna have a lot, obviously a larger impact than drones did. Um, but I, I think think that you know we'll, we'll have to see but i think you'll you'll see some overuse and then we'll figure out the right way to use it technologically do you think there'll be a bit of a boomerang effect that it will be in a way cooler to actually be someplace than have virtual reality because I, it has that nuance in it i think a little bit it's i don't think it'll be quite the level of you know hey vinyl records are better than cds because that's the way the, uh, <laughs> the the musicians intended it i don't think any musician intended all the crackle and pop um but if it gets overplayed you'll be able to see the difference i mean you can tell virtual versus non-virtual so um it'll be interesting to see how how they balance those mm -hmm. 